6 o'clock comes fast when you stay up to 1 o'clock. Oh, man. Oh, hey. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Mr. Blue Farms here on uh, Western Wilds. Woohoo! Farming Simulator 22. It's been a little bit since I recorded, folks, so uh, you have to excuse me for messing that up. We are on Farming Seminary 22. The map is the Western Wilds. And I'm your host, Mr. Brew, a.k.a. Tommy Miller. Folks, we have a trailer here that actually has a DEF, uh, DEF, uh, Average Blue for the tractors, and Diesel. I found this, I'm like, oh! and then I found this, and then I found something else, and I found something else. Oh, wait, I, I can't show y'all that yet. But this is a, a New York. Oh, I forgot to take the tags off. Oops. This side say same thing. Yep, New York. I gotta change those tags. But anyway, it this is a diesel. I don't think it takes the blue, so that's good. But it's a Ram, turbo diesel. Uh, what is that? 5500 heavy duty. Got the big motors on it and stuff. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of why our bank account's low. Um, let's get in this bad boy and start her up so it should be running. Still having issues entering the vehicle when I have. But as you can see down here, I'll get it right there. We got the miles per hour right there with the needles pointing. You got two different gas symbols there, or fuel symbols. One's diesel and one's the ASDEV, so this both works. Now, I hope y'all can hear that. All the lights work on her. And she is bright, too, folks. She is bright. And, uh, this one here, I don't think this one's got the work bed. Uh, well, not the work bed, but it's supposed to be a little box here where you can actually customize your equipment and stuff. Alright, we want to go around, look at our greenhouses, I think we got some onions over here and cucumbers, let's see, one pallet of honey since last time, and this is going to be a little heavy, but we're going to go ahead and load this up too. Can I do it? I hope I can do it. Oh my god, this is heavy. Oh, that's heavy. Oh. Jeez, I didn't want to throw it back to the truck like that, but okay. Uh, trying to get it where... Oh, it's going to be too wide that way. Yeah, it's going to be too wide that way. We'll just... Put it in that way. Yeah, right there. That'll work. Is this plastic, folks? That's all. Strap her down? Probably not. Alright, look like we just got two things of strawberry so far. Oh, we got some tomatoes here. Let's go ahead and gra gra ugh. grab them and slam them over here. Just in case we forget about that. They don't have enough for them. See, I get out. I can't get back in. I gotta hit E on the keyboard for some reason. Alright, we're gonna go on down here. As you can see, we've got the road put in. And as you can see, 44 mile an hour, this truck's like flying. Jeez. But this down here, this is why some of our money is low, folks. Um. This is chicken warehouses. I uh, don't know what that says, but as you can see, animals we can have five thousand, and food we can have up to twenty thousand liters. Uh, right now, there's nothing in here whatsoever. Like they got stuff ready for the chickens, but we ain't got the chickens yet. Only thing about it, the chickens going. <laughs> 
hate the train track probably let's open this up See that train go by. There it goes. Is that a long one? Oh, it looks like a long one. I used to love counting the cars or the uh, box cars. Stupid plane going over. Not, not in the game, but in real life. And they did put up a small silo here. I don't know exactly how much it's going to hold, but. Let this down. Nope, I think it stays up. Open object options. Oh, okay, we can rename it. Um, I'll do, I'll do that later. Probably gonna rename it Chicken Silo because all it's gonna have is wheat in here. Since it's one silo, that's the rule of this map. We're going to have one crop per silo. So there was two here. We could have wheat and soy gum. But uh, we did lay some gravel out and stuff. And this road keeps going that way. So let's get back. Oh, oh there's a wall there, Mr. Blue. Uh, same thing here. I thought I grabbed. Let's, oh, it's grabbing stuff through the wall there. But we can open this gate, and that's where we put our food. Uh, technically, it's showing wheat in there, but it is no wheat in there. But it will be. Uh, as soon as we get a chance to slow down. See, I, I entered good that time. All right, we're going to go on. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll meet you at our next location cut across this field. I don't want nobody seeing that and recording. Alright, bring y'all back here. As you can see, they got the fence up. And we got concrete all down through there so we don't have to weed. Go over here and show y'all. Look at there. They done a good job. As you can see, we got some excavation uh, equipment out there. They're getting ready to start working on the bin site. Uh, but we got a problem. Uh, spent a little bit too much money. They can start getting things ready. I got all that paid for, but I forgot to pay for the bin site. And it's a million something dollars. We got a roller, and there's our little mini over. Uh, uh, yeah, all that equipment's ours. We just got contractors coming in to uh, do the work for us. All right, I gotta run down here to the gas station. Oh man, it's gonna fill it up from the farm shop. So it wouldn't cost that. We had a, a container down there of diesel and death. Oh well, we'll fill this thing up and then use that other later. So I'll meet you down there. Now, I know y'all probably ain't been down here, but we're at the very bottom of the map as you can see on that one big map there. I got pulled up and about to hit the poles. Somewhere down here there's a fuel tank where uh, Mr. Yankee, I guess that's where you come set the wood at down here. <laughs> okay. Um, well, if that's a working, I don't think it folks, we, we gotta see if this is a, oh that's where you sell wood, okay. The icon where I can buy this place? Oh, let's cheers. Okay, so you cannot buy this and down here. Okay, that's good. I didn't want to anyway. <laughs> uh, just kidding. I want on that at all, folks. I see. That's back of the gas station. Let's go around this way. Place is kind of hidden. But not from this way. What's those gas prices? Oh, diesel's two forty-five. Gas is two twelve. I wish it was that again. Let's see. It looks like a water hydrant. Yep, yep, yep. I need to just pull up in here. Um, don't 
seen it where it says start peeling. A lot of diesel pops over there. Um, looks like you sell something there, is that? Probably you sell the methane. see nothing where it says begin fueling. Hmm. What is this exclamation mark way over here? Some kind of marker, I don't know. Ow. Come on, I need some fuel. Let me find a fuel pump place and I'll be right back. Alright folks, I am so stupid. I forgot I got a mod on. You actually have to get out to start filling. Oh, $133? Which one was that? 107 liters of diesel for three. Whoa. Oh, I moved, that's why. I gotta stay here the whole time. Oh, I see it there on the left now. It's filling up. This might take a while. Alright, we're past 2,000 liters and it's still not full. Coming up on 4,000. Oh, there we go. $4,923. Fill this thing up. Let's go check it real quick, see what. All right, yeah, it's just diesel. Let's see if we can refill the def from here. We got a def pump. Cash. Air. Check your air. Oh. They don't have def here. Wait. Good. Cause I've got a blue hose there. Uh, no. One, two, three, four. They got a hose for each thing there. Unleaded, unleaded plus, super unleaded, and diesel. Okay. Now I'll probably want to take this to the shop and fill up the desk. So that's lovely. Just hey, they open 24 hours. Okay, I can go out this way. All right, well we're gonna get busy. Uh, we got some stuff. We got uh, a load of wood. We gotta sell. It's uh, four meter logs. And yeah, uh, the sawmill requested four meters, and then six meters, and then we'll be back to our regular 12 meter logs. So. Boy, this road is a little bumpy. Yeah, I'll meet you up here where we're at. And, oh, and our, our canola's ready too. We just gotta wait till uh, dew dries off. All right, there's our mini, there's a roller. Right here's where we're gonna put the house. I don't know if Mr. Yankee or Dan from 3D Outdoors or Christy or, or even me is gonna be living there. Probably, I'm gonna probably take it and uh gotta build a couple more houses for everybody but as you can see we got another pickup truck and uh we, we got there's actually two more this is our one service work truck which is the tractor that needs oh right back here we tested the combine see if it would uh, reach over the auger wagon and it does so that's a good deal I'm gonna go ahead and get this out I don't know if we're gonna need it but oh thank you for landing the right way and we'll just probably we got one back there already I don't know where we're gonna put this out of the way I guess we'll put it in this service truck 
and this is the one that's supposed to have the uh, function for to work on things but I don't know it might be because it's not I can't get back in okay start her up I left this in white because this is going to actually be the, the, the service truck but check out the lights and stuff yeah folks that's, that's nice they can't see this something's wrong but anyway we're going to uh, unhook from that I guess we'll just pull over here out of the way and we're going to get the other tractor to come up here okay shit see that's the uh, shut those lights out so one two three that's all the lights don't have work lights in the back but that's all right. The other one does. Shut that off. It's getting our tractor here. We gotta fill it up. As you can see, it's low on depth too. All right, refill tractor, and we'll refill them with fuel. Cause it, you know we could get a little bit closer. But we still gotta go get death for this thing, so uh, yeah. Okay, good. We'll just park it back under here. Oh, I'm stuck. Anyway, this is what I'm talking about. We got four, three stacks of four meter logs, what they was wanting. So yeah, that's loaded to the gill. Remember how that thing goes? Oh, I'll be watching it. These are six meters. He wants a load of six meters, so we're going to do it. Uh, but yeah, this is ours, folks. The Tiger Cat. LH822D. We can push logs with that. And we can do some cutting over here. And yeah. Everything looks pretty good on her. But we are going to plant trees back. Don't worry. I'm not. We're going to cut all these because they're old and uh yeah let me go get some death and uh do i have strokes on this no i do not okay so this lights let me go to shop get that death and, and come back here and uh we should get started by then all right I'm pulling up here at the shop Refill tipper, that's what we want. Okay, it's gonna do the diesel first. Let's get on in here and see if we can get the uh, death. All right, there goes the death. Woohoo! It is working. There's our soil sample. We gotta get some soil samples taken of the new field we done in the last episode. Um, yeah. Sounds like it's still working. Go over here and check the sheet. Um, 10,000 instead of the 11,500. Water is 5,000. Okay, so they're still doing pretty good. How much wool do they get? Uh, one layer, not bad. I didn't really hurt the fence post in the last one when I was mowing around. I'd like to get some more sheep. I don't know how I'm 24. So, uh, a sheep of this wool, which can, let's see, it's two, let's, uh, 24, let's get 10 more of these, so it'll be 34. Might as well, yeah. I forgot to see. Oh, not $925. Get them delivered here. Not too bad. That'll help spruce that wool up a little bit. This should be filled by now. Yeah, death is up there. We still got some left. So good. Alright, I'm going to get back to the field. We're going to. Whoa, almost hit that pole. 
we're going to get that tractor refilled and we're going to start harvesting canola. Yeah, that's circling around, looking at stuff. Get a little bit straighter here. Probably wouldn't hurt to get over just a little more. Okay, shut off. Think all the lights are off. Ah. We feel tractor. And then there goes our def going up. Alright, def is all the way up. Let's see what we got left. Um, I'm good. I didn't use very much def. Good. Right, I got one more truck I want to show you. I'll be right back. And this is the remaining stuff I bought. Uh, we got our uh, mobile pressure washer. That way when we're down there in the fields. Uh, when it comes up next morning, we need to wash them. We can wash them. And this bad boy is ours. This is what emptied the bags. Just back up to it and it'll start emptying them out into a trailer or something. And folks, this is my personal truck. That's a, uh, get where I can see the, that's a 2500 H, uh, 2500 heavy duty. And it's got the 6.4 liter Hemi. And, uh, yeah, I just wish I could put a, a winch or something on the front of it. But it's got the side steps, it's got the tires. I didn't want too beefy, but look at the back bumper I wish my truck my real life truck had that in there it's got the gooseneck so we can pull a trailer it's got the sunroof right here I wish that would come back like right here like a like the Tesla car all of it would be one piece of glass I'd love to look at the stars or the tornadoes that's coming all right you're probably like what in the world would I need this for folks I wish I could find a flatbed trailer that had the whole floor in it that way we could take this trailer hook it to this thing and uh use it for small stuff but anyway it does have the hitch on the back and it's got a three-point hitch also and this is the john deere xuv 865m uh utility vehicle so if I can take a look on the inside green seats oh my green seat belt oh wow um it's nice and quiet anyway yeah you know farmers got to have their toys and tools right this is considered a tool not a toy oh i love the sound of that Got room for uh, three, four people besides me. There's one set of lights. There's number two. Number three. Is there four? Yep, we got four. But we're going to take this out to the field too, and then we'll get started. We'll come back to other stuff later. Oh, wow. She handles like a dream. Let's hope the brakes work. <laughs> now this here, we're going to have to make this road here a little bit wider after we get the cotton. We need a, a way to turn in here. I, I love the good job they done on the fence. As you can see, all the fence has been replaced. And we left this open. Why did we leave this open? So the semi-trucks can do their turning. And 
I didn't answer the question why I got the gator. The gator's gonna be doing our field mapping. We got a load of stones there, and look like they just broke ground here. They probably had to stop because I didn't give them the plans yet. But yeah, when we get everything harvested and everything laid out, trees gone and stuff, we're going to be mapping our fields out. But yeah, we got to get busy doing some canola real quick. It's 9 o'clock, dude should be off by now, so yeah. Oh, we got to set a load of logs. I forgot about that. So, uh... <gasps> Ooh, gotta be careful, almost slung the gator out. Lights off, motor off. Go let this warm up. Folks, I will see y'all at the sawmill. Rolling, rolling, rolling. And we are here, folks. Right, I'm going to unstrap all that. Oh, that's a big load. All right, we're going to get where I can see it. Probably about right there. Oh, wait. I'm going to turn right here. This blue would be good. $39,180. Ooh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's not as much as I want. Okay. Y'all got to remember that. 39000 whatever it was. And then we got some 6 meter logs. We're going to go next. And we'll try to see how much we get for all this. And I'll probably put that in there and note it down when I do the editing. Let's see, I'm going to go back this way. But yeah, see you back at the combine. All right, we got back and got that loaded. What was left on the ground here. I right, got quite a few stumps to get up too. But like I said, we got to get in here and start this combine up. And of course we need fuel. Might well fill it up. Well, I don't know. I'm planning on getting rid of this. This well we got soybeans to harvest, so but still. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh let's see, disable straw wealth? No. Turn on harvester? Yes. I did take the combine experience mod disabled it because it's acting funny. Here, watch that guy's wire right there. I'll just come back for that piece right there. And yes folks I do have the straw. Uh, it's not the canola straw. I disabled it. We have the uh, uh, soybeans, corn, all that gives you straw too. So, alright, let's cut me a little corner out here so I can get turned. I made it all the way down past the poles. And what I'm going to do when we go up and down this way, and this combine don't have GPS on it, so I'm going to have to do it myself. So, is 31 minutes in folks I'm gonna go ahead and call the video here I pretty much showed you everything we got we got the what three new trucks my personal truck and two work trucks um, I don't know who's gonna get who or what um, but yeah I'm gonna involve y'all in games as you know I already called some of y'all out uh, like Christy and Dan and, and Mr. Yankee but I got some newer ones that's been giving me a lot of support here lately so uh, I'm gonna shout y'all out by I can't do everybody but the ones that I feel comment the most will probably start getting the new jobs I'm gonna have to write down the ones that comment the most and uh, go from there. But anyway, basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get the ends um, cut and 
stuff and go get the, you know, like I'll do a round or two on this end here, up and down, and get around the poles a little bit more, and then go on the far end down there. I think all that's grass, so we won't have to worry about turning around down there. And uh, when we'll come back, you'll probably see a speedy of me doing this field. And then one thing about it, the cotton rolls will be opened up. And I don't know really when the cotton's going to come. It's usually like September, October, the cotton's ready. Around here anyway. And uh, this is October, I don't know what the day is really, but right. October the 6th or the 5th, let's, let's check here. October the 6th, uh, which is the Thursday. I should see this October the 7th, hopefully. And, uh, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah, it's starting to look pretty good now. Let me go back down this way. I don't think I can hire work in this direction. That's why I'm doing it myself. Yeah, look at the canola stubble. Anyway, let's take a second here. And we can go ahead and raise up and shut my. Guess the old combine off. Hit the wrong switch. Let's go in here. Yeah, I was looking at the price of wood. It's a train yard. I should have should have known. Um, today is August the first, and we can actually replant canola today. But I think it's going to be we got some more field work to do. Let's go in here to and see this field here is 83 uh, on a good scale, so that's pretty good. Um, Oh, nitrogen's real bad after that. We're gonna get that done. Yield. So it's loomy sand. So loomy sand ain't, is uh, not giving us that much, but the green is. Uh, let's see if we can take that green out, shall we? Take some of it out. Oh, so it's 95% on it. Okay. Uh, 80% is what we're making up right in that area. Okay. Oh, hit the wrong one. Uh, it's the seed rate start uh, chart. So, yeah. But anyway, folks, I'm going to bring y'all back in the next episode. I'm going to finish getting this done. I got to go outside and cut a tree before it gets hot. And, uh, yeah, thank you for liking, subscribing, and commenting. Uh, in other words, please leave a comment. It can be a smiley face or it can be a frown or whatever. Or a thumbs up. It helps out my channel. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, trying to reach that thousand members, family members there, folks. And also, uh, I love y'all. Y'all have a great day. A blessed day. I'll see y'all later.